Welcome to this week's Havers. First of all we see Lindsay's photographs, a little bit about some whiskey, the diary and of course the Haver. Tenth of August and we arrive at Ardclach. This is the middle week of my night shift and David decided to find somewhere nice and quiet for us to go and visit. The road down was interesting, twisty and narrow. Um, if your motorhome is more than 6.6 .6 metres, I would suggest it's too narrow for you to drive. We set up, we had a look round, I apparently chatted up the church owner and had a visit round the church. We were next door to the River Findhorn and we had a look at the river. Very low, very sad, but lovely and quiet. And that's the end of day one. Oops, we slept in again. Um, I went for a walk around the river and then I went to the bell tower. David listened to the cricket and did some radio. The radio conditions are not very good because we're surrounded by hills and we're in a dip. He flew the drone and at the church owner's request flew the drone over the roof to see what state the roof was in because he has to rebuild it next spring. We went for a walk down the river again and then in the evening we just sat and chilled in the van and watched the birds and watched the world go by. The whiskey review. This has taken a bit of doing. It's taken me three good drams before I've uh, got a flavour or taste of this whiskey really and it's a little bit disappointing. Uh, it's a, a Jura, normally a very good whiskey, a, a Jura origin in this case. Um, it's, it's a nice enough whiskey, very smooth, very palatable. But I can't, I can't get a, a real feeling on the flavour, so uh, it's all disappointing for me from that point of view. Um, it's sort of a, a light caramel, very smooth, very, very nice to drink, but uh, not a patch on some of the other jurors, which is a shame. Um, so I'm only going to give it two Desmond poppies, um, but don't let that put you off. It's a nice. Nice whiskey. 12th of August, Nairn Harbour. We 
got up in the morning and after our second cuppa we said goodbye to the church owner and headed back towards home. We ended up at Nairn Harbour just in time for the yearly raft race. So we sat, we stood and watched the boats going up and down the river. Much fun had by all. And then after everybody left, the car park got quieter, apart from a couple of boy racers, well, old men racers. And then after they left, it was just us, a huge great big RV next door, and a few foreigners that parked up for the night. Lovely quiet spot. Lovely to watch the sea and the birds. And then that was us. For the night. Thirteenth of August. The day David treads the most time to go home so we packed up and just headed for home and that was the end of our lovely long weekend in Ardclach and there. And that was a bit different. One point that was missed was that we took a drive through the new caravan site at Nen. Um, it has a minimum of three nights booking and at this time of year will cost you nearly £80 a night. So basically they want £240 for your visit and you're parked on little more than a car park with a porter cabin for a toilet. I don't know how they get away with it. And so, we get to the Haver. Uh, this was triggered by a, a comment on, on Twitter, believe it or not, um, about truck drivers being bullies. And immediately uh, there was a, a bunch of replies saying, uh, no, 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 uh, truck drivers don't do that kind of thing. Of course they're not. Well, here's a couple of instances of the same thing. Um, whereby uh, I was witness to some bullying, indirectly in one instance and directly in another. Um, it's from our towing days, so uh, first involves a couple of friends of ours who came across a uh, caravan which had uh, turned over on the motorway. They were towing, they pulled over, offered assistance. But what both these caravans had that the one that I turned over didn't was CB radio. That keeping contact we used to uh, have, have fitted as well. We'll come to that. And what they heard on the CB was the two trucks planning to go past the the caravan, breaking the speed limit to do so, but doing so in such a way that their bow waves would unsettle this caravan. And now this was this was a deliberate act. Um, they'd, uh, they'd informed the guys uh, of what had happened and they were asked when the police arrived if they would give evidence. Uh, as far as I know they did, uh, etc, etc. Et but that's sort of a, a third party anecdote. And I thought, yeah, right. But um, it was the same year. We were towing north, heading up the M6. Uh, pretty close to the, the same area. In fact, I think I had pointed out this is where the, the caravan turned over that we were told about by our acquaintances to, uh, to Lindsay. And not long after that, on the CB came the sound of two truckers saying, there's a big caravan going up being pulled by the... Let's, uh, let's cause him some fun. Well, that caravan was me and I heard them. And uh, I didn't see anything, say anything, but kept an eye on the mirror. And here, sure enough, two uh, two large trucks came came bowling up towards me. And uh, I just got on the CB as they were coming and said, "I wouldn't bother if I were you. I heard you. Um, and if anything happens, 
I've got your number plates now. And uh, I uh, I took my evasive action anyway, um, which was to move away a little bit into the uh, the hard shoulder to create some gap. But they did slow down and move out and pass. Um, so there you go, just two instances uh, where uh, yeah, truck drivers have been bullies. However, to finish off, years and years ago, I'd been on a, a course at RF Kinloss and was headed back down to RF St Morgan, which was my where I was stationed at the time. And I was involved in an accident on the A74, um, long before it was now the way it is, M74, the old A74. Anyway. Um, apart from the fact that my um, passenger was laughing at me for what I'd done when we were upside down in the ditch, um, the thing that helped us was a passing trucker and his CB radio. So we'll call it 2-1, shall we? Um, what the pal of mine was laughing at was that upside down in the ditch, I had calmly taken my seatbelt off, climbed out of the car, switched the ignition off, and climbed out of the car and locked it as if I was just thank you for watching this haver we'll see you again next time and remember there's a donder from this spot on Friday